Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I started the Marriage Foundation and I'm going to try to help you today with something that is a little bit complicated, but just a little bit. There's going to be a general attitude that I'm going to try to convey to you, uh, sort of an overview. And the topic is how to prepare for your first marriage counseling session. And the reason why people will do that is, uh, that is go to marriage counseling is obviously so that they can save their marriage or just improve it because it's not going in the right direction. And there is, there is a general consensus now that marriage counseling doesn't really help but there are some marriage counselors who are top-notch. Um, <clears throat> for the Marriage Foundation, we hired them or tried to find them so they could be our counselors as people take the course or have questions. So there are some really excellent marriage therapist counselors out there. So I'm gonna try and give you things that you need to look out for. So the overview first is to remember why you're going to marriage counseling. You're not going to marriage counseling so that you can bitch and moan about your husband or wife. You're not going there so you could get everything out on the table and talk things out. That's a misconception. There is no good end to talking things out. A good marriage counselor will not do that. They won't ask you um, what's going on in order to talk things out. They'll ask you that only so that they could get a sense of sort of your commitment to one another, your commitment to the marriage, whether you're willing as an individual to take responsibility for your end of the marriage and frankly for the whole marriage. So try to understand that there are those marriage counselors out there, far too many, who want you to keep coming back. You become their bank account. You become a client of theirs. In contrast, there's others who just really want to help you get your marriage under control. So, what are you looking for? What should the first session look like? Well, it should really not look like where you're getting each other into trouble. You're not trying to blame one another. What you're trying to do is find out, here's the critical piece. You're trying to find out what you're doing wrong, not what your spouse is doing wrong, but what you're doing wrong. You're going into an arena where someone who's a professional who knows what they're doing can say, you know, you need to look at this. You might want to read this. And there's many counselors who will recommend one of my books, either Breaking the Cycle or Lessons for a Happy Marriage, as a basis, and then they'll help you through the steps. Because you got to take the steps. Look. Marriage counseling doesn't have to be torture. It's supposed to be where you, your marriage has gotten off the rails. Now you want to get back on the rails and you want to do it as quickly as possible. So <laughs> we've gotten a little bit off track, speaking off the rails, we've gotten a little bit off track about how to prepare. So. How you should prepare is you should literally grab a piece of paper and a pencil and write down your vision for a happy marriage. You shouldn't write down your complaints. Don't write down what's wrong with your spouse. That will literally undermine any progress you possibly could make. You want to ask the question, what can I, as an individual, do to improve 
our marriage. Don't worry about what your spouse wants to do in there. You know, there, there's this idea that marriage is this two people becoming one. And that's not exactly true. It's two souls who merge. Sure, that's true, but two minds aren't going to merge. You're always going to maintain your individuality. So if you think about your marriage as two individuals being married together, but they're still individuals, it really helps you understand that you're not going to ever achieve this. How do I say this? You're never going to achieve a unity of minds. I mean, it may come to some degree in many respects, but that's not the goal of marriage. So I'm going to get a little bit deeper on this. Okay, so you want to write down your vision of your marriage. What do you want? You're also going to want to write down, what am I doing wrong? You want to ask candidly, and this is one of the reasons why I'm not really all for uh, marriage counseling, because you should be with the marriage counselor just by yourself and ask, what am I doing wrong? You got to be really sincere. What can I do to improve? But if you're going to be together and you do that and you're sincere, you're also sending a great message to your spouse that you really care for them. And that's what you want to be able to say. You want to give yourself things that I'm going to say. So take a piece of paper, draw a vertical line, and on one side put things I want to say, on the other side, things I don't want to say. Okay, what you want to say is you want to say only positive things about your spouse. You want to acknowledge that you can use some improvements. You want to acknowledge that your imperfections may be what's getting in the way of your experiencing the unconditional love of marriage that you seek. On the other side of not to do, don't criticize, don't complain, don't condemn, don't let any bitterness come into this session. Remember, you're in here to heal. This isn't a courtroom. You're not trying to go, I'm the better spouse, they need to improve. That's the last thing you should do. So put a list of things that you know will be offensive and write those down as things you're not going to say, even if it comes up and you're tempted. Because you should be seeing those things as what he or she is doing is triggering me. What is it about me that is taking these things personally? Okay? So remember, you're going in for a positive experience. Another thing that you're doing on your first session, and this is really important, is you're evaluating the therapist. You want to make sure, number one, you leave upbeat. If you're not out of that session feeling better than when you went in, quit that therapist and find a different one. Because your progress towards a happy marriage is not going to begin with taking things apart and hurting each other. It's just not how it works. You can't go in two opposite directions at the same time. And the direction you want is to be positive, to improve your marriage. So it should begin with the very first session, period. Now, of all of the therapists who I interviewed and trained for the Marriage Foundation, my favorite unfortunately passed away, Paul Hagenberger. And what happened was I met him and introduced him to my book. And he called me up and he said, Paul, I want in. I want to be part of the Marriage Foundation. But when he explained his philosophy of working with couples, I said, Paul, you do not need what I have. He goes, no, you hit the nail on the head. Your thing is all education. And that's what I do. And I go, yeah, I see that's what you do. So you don't need me. That's what you need, is you need a counselor who understands 
getting marriage help is about educating you. It's not about straightening you out. It's not about fixing your spouse. It's not about clobbering you. It's about teaching you about the things that will improve your marriage right from the get-go and then get better every day. Your marriage is supposed to get better every single day. You're supposed to feel more love, more connection, more joy, more happiness. You know, I remind people all the time, look, you got married in order to be happier than you were. So why, why in the world are you not? You could analyze this. You're not because you don't understand that this creates a requirement for you to create the happiness in your marriage. And so you need to understand the substance of a happy marriage is unconditional love. And you have to understand that it's your responsibility as an individual to exercise unconditional love and not expect it. Because if you expect it, it's not unconditional love on your end. The marriage therapist who is good is going to help you get there. And that's what you're looking for. You need to get there. Marriage is an amazing thing. It's amazing. It's meant for you to be fulfilled in ways you cannot even imagine. All right. If you like what you hear, like it and share it. Share this with your spouse, especially with your spouse, but share it with your friends too, just on Facebook or whatever. And if you have a comment, I'm happy to interact with you. If you wish advice, you could write in to our own counselors and get some feedback. And other than that, my blessings to you, my blessings to your spouse, and my blessings to your family. Thank you.